So along with closing, we want to we, we want to do something first. So usually either the night before or the day of, we want to do a walkthrough. Um, there are exceptions to this, like when it's tenant occupied or something like that, or if people are going to live there. But we want to do a walkthrough um, that makes sure that the property is the way we expect it to be before we actually sign and close on it. Uh, meaning if there was repairs that needed to be done, we're going to get um, you know, receipts for that and we're going to check and make sure that they're actually up to what we expect. If we're expecting certain appliances to be left in the house, we're going to walk through and make sure that the appliances are there. And I kind of jokingly, tongue in cheek, tell people that by the time walkthrough happens, we've hopefully got everything dialed in enough where we're just making sure it didn't flood or burn down between you know the seller moving out and you moving in and actually closing on it. But it is an important thing to do uh, in most transactions. So we've made it through all the process. Let's talk about closing, right? Closing in our market is generally done at a title company, by a title company representative. Uh, we pay them money to perform the, that part of the transaction. And then the title company also supplies the title insurance for the buyer, for the lender, whatever. Um, so let's talk about how that looks. Number one is you need to bring picture ID that's valid. Um, sometimes they want two forms of ID. Generally, they don't have to be photo ID, but one's going to have to be photo ID, and a second one is always good. Um, you're going to have to often bring money as the buyer. Um, used to be that no one liked checks and they all wanted wires. Well, now we're having a whole bunch of wire fraud, which on that note, don't send a wire that you unless you speak with an actual human about doing so. At least in our current situation, there's enough wire fraud going on that we've changed the entire way we do things. And actually now people like it when you bring in cashier's checks better than wires because wires are getting all crazy. Um, so when we get to closing, you're going to sign a whole bunch of documents as a buyer, especially if you have a loan because there's the real estate documents of the actual purchase of the real estate and then there's the lending documents that allow you to get the loan and all the things that go with that. Um, so you will want to bring your signing hand, get your stretches on, right? bring your ID and your money. And then if you want to read those documents, we want to know about that ahead of time because there's a ton of them. So if you're a reader, you're going to want these stuff way early, like a week. It's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, if it's the VA, you're going to sign a doc that says that you realize that you signed a doc that said something. It's crazy. It's like, I'm going to occupy the property. And this document says that you sign, you understand that you signed the document that says you're going to occupy the property. Sounds crazy, but it is a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and it takes an hour at least. Um, so, if, and that's without reading it. If you want to read it, it's going to take days. In Colorado, we're called an at-table state, meaning that kind of, sort of, at least if it works out in, um, in practices, the buyer is there, the seller is there, everyone signs the docs together, and it's done right then. In Colorado, you as the buyer own the day of closing, the whole day. Um, even if you close at five at night, you technically are paying for that first day. Um, and now at closing, everyone shows up and signs everything if they're there, and you get the keys and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then we will often call right then, if we haven't already, change over the utilities, things of that nature. So closing uh, not only entails that, and oftentimes people will exchange numbers or chit chat about things that go with the property or things they need to know. Um, and it's usually a pretty good time. Uh, most people are happy to be buying and other people are happy to be selling. I've seen laughing, I've seen crying, tears of joy, tears of, you know, they're gonna miss the house where the kids grew up in. Like, it's, um, it's probably, kind of the coolest part of the job in some respects because it's when everything gets accomplished that you've been trying to accomplish for this whole time.